What is the installation guide of the HydroCleanse sanitary wash bed system? First of all, if you just open the, uh, the box up, what we have is one three day system. Uh, the contents we have one 15ml T valve and some hydraulic pipe. So all the tools that we need are here. We just need a spanner, flat screwdriver, and some PTF tape. So first step is we just need to remove this toilet seat. So if we just unscrew this and just unscrew from the other end side, just loosen that up. and just put this to one side. What we need to do now is remove the HydroCleanse bead system from its packaging and then what we need to do is line the holes up so we can just position this beforehand. Once that's been lined up, just need to hold it in place. And then we just need to mix the toilet seat on top of it. If we just get the other hook, same thing done for the other side. And that just needs to be tightened up now. So we just uh, insert the rigs. And I'll just tighten those up so everything's nice and steady that way. side, just going to move on to the other side now. best thing is not to fully tighten the toilet seat at the moment, because what we may need to do, we may need to slightly adjust it, just to get everything perfect. So as you can see at the moment, the toilet seat is a little bit loose, but we will get into that. And we'll just tighten that off. Just need to lift the toilet seat. We have the hydroclense bidet now here. Just need to get the position slightly right so we can make sure we can move the angle adjuster. So it's in the centre. Now what we need to do is just tighten this up because we've got it in the perfect position. Okay, that's step one done now. Next step is what we need to do is Shut off, shut off the water supply that's going to the toilet tank. So best to use a flat screwdriver and that's turned off now. So we've got that going horizontally across. Now what we need to do is get the diameter bulb, the 50mm diameter bulb. Recommend that we get some PTF tape put onto it. Just prevents any leaks or anything like that. So, what we do is just wrap this around a few times. Just creates an extra seal. Okay, let's break that off. So, we've got that prepared. We can just put this to one side. What we now need to do is remove underneath the toilet tank. We may get some water slightly dripping, That's we've flushed most of it, so uh, we'll just remove that. So what we need to do is now fix this diverter valve into here. Just make sure we get the thread perfect here. Just get that 
tight. Best thing is not to over tighten it because what we can do is actually damage the threads that way, and we don't want to do that. So you can just just that's perfectly tight. And what we do now is fix the flexi hose to the male side of the adapter. Just tighten that off. So now is just remove this. Just make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, that's the step two done. What we now need to do is connect the water pipe from the T valve onto the B day. Just take this pipe out, push this through, and it just push this onto the diverter bulb now. Just tighten that up, push it all the way down. And from the back of the video, remove the knot, push that through here, and again that's pushed in there. So just push it all the way down so it's touching the rim. So we just need to tighten that up. Just get a spanner just to give it an extra tightness. And that's it. Now, what we're going to do is just, to, just turn on the water supply just to make sure everything's fine. Just check for water leaks, make sure everything's fine, and just test the bidet as well. Which is working absolutely fine. And what we'll do is just check the nozzle, just make sure that's working fine. Just going to stop any water going there. That's brilliant, that's perfect. That's working absolutely brilliantly.